What do we know? That's the subject of tonight's cover story report. When we come back. And full details of the case were released, and the government kept the area tightly guarded. The military brass wasn't talking, but rumors started to fly that the plane that crashed was outfitted with super-secret stealth technology. Tonight, we begin a special cover story series on the stealth mystery. In part one, Gene Gleason tells us what this mysterious technology is all about. It's high-tech, it's sleek. In fact, so sleek, it can't be seen by radar. And only a select few really know what it's going to look like. It's the stealth bomber, and it's causing a lot of controversy. Some hope it'll be the future of America's strategic bomber force, but its roots are deep in World War II dogfights and submarine hunts. The search for the right formula may be continuing, but everyone from the Pentagon to defense contractors have remained closed mouth about stealth. We're the prime contractor for the advanced technology bomber, and uh, all other details of that program are are classified and therefore we as a matter of policy just don't comment beyond that particular statement I mean that's all you can say that's all I can tell you that may be all Northrop is willing to say but there are plenty of others who are willing to make some guesses educated and otherwise about the performance and style of stealth you can judge for yourself who knows what as our series continues this is Gene Gleason reporting Experts say the price tag for the stealth program could go as high as $80 billion per plane. While people are talking about that price tag, developers of the project are keeping quiet about design details. That's leaving lots of room for speculation. As Pentagon, however, says the plane was a top-secret stealth fighter jet that officially doesn't exist. The plane went down in the sprawling Nellis Air Force gunnery range northwest of Las Vegas. There are reports that the jet crashed during exercises simulating combat in Europe. Nellis has confirmed that the pilot of the plane was killed. Went down in a remote and classified area of the Nellis Gunnery Range was a top secret stealth plane. Richard Urey has been trying to accumulate as much solid information as possible about that accident. He joins us now with the very latest. Richard? George Nellis information officer told us this afternoon that the pilot who died in the stealth crash was Major Michael J. Stewart assigned to Nellis. We can't tell you more about the pilot because the Air Force isn't talking. Not talking about the pilot, his plane, or the mission he was on. Ordinarily, when a Nellis plane goes down and a crewman is killed on a mission over the huge Nellis range, the airbase provides biographical information. But in the case of Major Michael J. Stewart, his age, hometown, previous assignments, and current unit are being withheld. If it were the crash of an F-16, as shown here, or the crash of another non-secret type of aircraft, the news media would generally be informed of the exact location of the crash, and perhaps some general information about the training mission would be provided. But Air Force officials are turning a cold shoulder to inquiries for such details. Meanwhile, all the major networks and wire services have reported confirmation from anonymous Pentagon sources that the plane that crashed was a stealth fighter, even though the Air Force will not acknowledge the existence of the plane, which non-military aviation experts have described as looking like this model. Without pinpointing a location, the Air Force has said that the plane crashed about 100 miles northwest of Las Vegas. And the Bureau of Land Management Office in Caliente reportedly got word of a fire Wednesday night in the area where the Air Force says the crash occurred, also on Wednesday night. But neither BLM nor Air Force officials will say whether the fire was started by the crash. Stealth aircraft, designed to be undetectable by radar, are thought to be based at the Tonopah test range and flown at night to avoid photographers. That area of the range is so secret that a Las Vegas air ambulance pilot told us he was once denied permission to take a shortcut over it, even though he had on board a patient who was bleeding to death. In order to protect the crash scene where another Nellis pilot went down near Bakersfield in 1986, also while apparently flying as stealth, the Air Force used armed troops to seal off a huge area. Aviation industry sources have said that there may be as many as 50 stealth jets making regular night flights from the Nellis range. A commercial pilot who often flies near the western edge of the Nellis range says that stealth pilots maintain strict radio silence during their night flights and that even when visibility is poor, there is no way that pilots can alert each other that they may be on a collision course. Of course, there was no collision, apparently, involved in this latest report of the stealth going down on Wednesday. Thank you very much, Richard. Thanks, Richard.